<laughs> two days, roughly 48 hours in the soup. That is not bad at all. A copper brush just coming right off. Yeah, I'm not calling a win here. We're not going to call this a victory quite yet. As you can see. <laughs> Yes, sir. We might be able to actually save this. So we're going to work on it a little bit. Give it a little little TLC here. What the, uh, I believe this is brass or copper, which you could use a steel bristled brush. It won't hurt nothing. But all in all, I'm tickled to death. I was really skeptical if this treatment was going to work. This electrolysis deal. We have the main caps there. We'll put in a smaller bath. All right, we're going to get to scrub it on this and just piddle around with it. It will go back in the juice for the final day here in a couple of hours. We need to get these mothers out of there. But all in all, man, I am very pleased. Very, very, very pleased. All right, we'll be back. Now, that is awesome. We gave it a once over with a brass over copper brush. It doesn't hurt a thing. Not even a steel brush really hurts. Contrary to popular belief, that is absolutely more than I could have ever hoped for. Two days electrolysis in vinegar as the electrolyte, which also the action of the acid, which vinegar is, is like a double double hammer with electrolysis using vinegar as the electrolyte. Now there's stronger electrolytes, but all in all, the benefit of using vinegar is certainly telling itself. You see a cam bearing in there, all gnarly and twisted up. It's a little worrisome. We're finally getting a good look at this, you know, and it is absolutely, <laughs> that's just awesome. That is awesome. Then we'll be able to give it another once over with that brass over a copper brush and it almost looked like it was sandblasted we may soak it we're not going to have to do another day of electro electrolysis no way anyways this acid's lost its oomph the way you test that it's like your old you know grade school volcano experiment some baking soda no reaction the vinegar has lost its oomph, so its acidity is gone. We now have a base, which now we have, basically, this is not toxic waste. I think if I'm getting this correct, well, chemists, please correct me, but that would be iron acetate. Maybe iron acetate 2, okay, would be what this goop is. It did go through a chemical change. You know, you are doing a chemistry experiment here. This ain't... You know, the simple is putting it in a hot bath. But it's harmless. You know, you want to filter it. When we lay our bilge pump down here, we're going to filter out the big particles of chunks of oil and crap. For most part, it's a good weed killer. And if you want to take the big chunks of particles and just throw it in a, in a bucket, in about six months, it's just iron. It's, that's all it is. So this is a real biodegradable, environmentally friendly way of doing this. Instead of using this thing, which I like using, but it has some real noxious stuff in here. You know, you don't want to get this in your lungs. Gosh, you don't want to get it on your skin. But this, it's relatively harmless. You know, chemist, correct me if I am wrong, but I believe what you have here is called iron acetate, and it's harmless. Now you get the more picky folks that says it's not, but it is to me. It's a good weed killer. That is outstanding. All right, we're going to go give it a one more over with the uh, brass over copper brush. Clean up some of the hard to get spots. We're dropping this on the deck. There, there's no sense in this going back into this goop, back in the soup. You know, and then we got to do the main caps. That has to go through electrolysis, or at least a vinegar bath. And I'm thinking electrolysis, because they're pretty, they're pretty bad. And somebody didn't take the dang stinking barons off, I don't think. 
And yeah, Barons are off of that one. Barons are off of that one. I think I knocked the Barons off. See, Barons are on that one. It's not good. But my main journals, my main mains don't look bad. But I won't be able to tell until I really get this thing cleaned up of how good or how bad it is. We start laying, uh, doing some measurements on the block. All right, we're going to give it another once over, which will be a twice over. <laughs> there. And uh, we'll be back. All right, it just keeps getting better. Uh, no surprises. We'll give it another quickie. Now, you know, we can't call this. We can't call this a success until it goes through Magnaflux. No cracks. But, as far as cleaning this thing up from a big pile of rust that just needed to go to the junkyard, to the scrapyard, you know, or like I like to say, put it in the front yard and tie a goat to it, to something that you can work with and say, all right, we may have something here. It's remarkable. I, I can't say enough, enough good things about this process of electrolysis and using vinegar to do it because you're getting you know the double the double hammer you're getting the benefit of the acid that will absolutely eat this rust off by itself then electrolysis is lifting it off and I was wondering why I didn't have a big buildup of not a huge buildup of rust on my anode except right up here at the uh, at the vinegar line or the, the liquid line I was just it's caking up really good oh, the vinegar's eating it off it's absolutely awesome so this anode it will last me a long 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 time never thought of that until just then that the actual vinegar the action of the vinegar is eating the loose rust that's chemically attaching itself to the anode it's eating it right off, drop it down in the drink. And we'll have a pile, pile of rust at the bottom of this. So this is the process we're going to use for restoration from here on out. Because this is as bad as it gets. And if we can recover this all the way to build, and it gets through a Magnaflux, and it gets through the machining, and we actually build this, and put these Cleveland 2V heads on it, because I can buy whatever pistons I want. I can do whatever I want with a combustion chamber. Yeah, hopefully I don't have to deal with spark knock and all that crap. We'll see when the numbers wash out. But this is absolutely outstanding. All right, we're going to get this video up and let everybody see it. This is it. We're going.